Oh yeah. Three, two, one. So welcome back to White House Farm. Uh, we're gonna show you how to turn this into this. So let's go ahead and get started. And first thing we're gonna do is start taking apart this fire extinguisher and cleaning it out. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and make sure that there's no pressure left in it, that you can't squirt anything out of it. And uh, you're gonna look at your tanks. Like this one is pressurized to 195 PSI and the max pressure with it where are we here uh max psi for this tank is 585 so on our other tank on out over there um it's only rated up to 100 psi where uh fill to and then 300 psi max uh that it's pressurized so Make sure when you're doing this that you don't go beyond those numbers. So, all right, let's go ahead and take this off. All right, and you may need to heat it up a little bit if it's in there good, just like we did and should twist right out. Perfect. All right. So now next thing we want to do is twist this top off and we'll go ahead and empty the contents and then wash this out with water and go from there. You can do this an easy way too. Just give it a whack with a sledge. There we go. And that'll pull right out. All right, let's go clean this out. So we got it all cleared out and back together. And we got it filled with water right now. What you want next is one of these 1 8 tire valves here. That's all it is. And we're gonna put some Teflon tape on here and we're gonna insert it where the gauge was. All right, so now we're gonna insert that back into here and we're gonna tighten it up with a 7 16 So that's in there now. Let's go ahead and pressurize this and then we'll really clear it out. And we're going to set this to 120. Because remember the gauge, you go up to 195 and it's pressurized to five, or it can actually take a charge of up to 535 for max pressure. But, you know, we're going to do 120 and blow this thing out. We're at 120. Let's go ahead and disconnect this and have a little fun. Woo! All right. Spray it all out. Woo! <laughs> all right. So now we know it's clear. And also, if you wanted to use these, uh, reuse them, you could throw water in them just like that. So, <laughs> and if you can, if you want to paint these, you should be able to pull these right off, these stickers. So we're using an uh, inch and a quarter here. And all you're going to do is measure down two inches and make a mark.
And now we're gonna take our drill bit, which this is a half inch, and we're gonna go ahead and drill a hole right, right there, just past it. All right, make a little dimple in there, make it easier. And then you can balance the drill right on it. And go straight down. Just go slow with it. Yep. Yep, reverse it if you have to. Yep, and then go forward. Now we take these two pieces and it's going to be a tight fit, which is what you want. I'm going to need to hog it out a little bit more. We want to try and keep it as tight a fit as possible. You want it tight. Yeah, just like that. And then you work it just like that so it's level on here. There we go. And you can see the inside, that's how it is. So that way it protrudes through. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take two hose clamps and get this on there so it's secured to it. One at a time. Yep. Squeeze it. There we go. And you just want to space them out so uh, you know it holds it, holds it good. There you go. We got that connected. And now we're gonna go ahead and seal this area up with the hot glue gun. Run a bead all the way around it. That way we don't have any air leaks from there. And it is hot now. So he's gonna go ahead and start gluing all around the nozzle there to make sure it's airtight. Play a big thick bead on there. All right, so we got a nice bead of glue on there to make that airtight. Let's go ahead and add on our T now. But before we do add this on, we're gonna put tape on the inside of here. That way the air is not going down through here and we're gonna fill this with hot glue or you can use spray foam, whatever you want. And this is just to cover the hole up in there. That way your air is directional. It won't be going down into your into the gun. And you can see we got the tape there now. So now we'll go ahead and fill that with hot glue. There we go. Now it's sealed up. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Now you won't have air escaping through the bottom there. It'll stay in the top tube where you need it. All right, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna leave uh, about an inch. We're actually gonna make this one a little shorter, uh, the barrel, and we're gonna leave about an inch here uh, so we can attach uh, the tip to it. And we'll go ahead and clip this. I'll let you do it. Okay. Yep. There we go. So now we want to make the tip. And with the tip, we're using a quarter inch by six inch. MIP nipple here and we're also using a 3 8 by quarter inch uh, barb adapter and we're going to connect it using a quarter inch by quarter inch FIP. So 
So these will go together just like this. But we want to put Teflon tape on here to try and keep as much air in as possible so there's no leaks. Okay, so that's together. Now we just need to tighten it. And you use a 5 8 for this here. And I'm going to hold as he tightens up. And now we're gonna use a 15 mil to tighten up the tip. All right, so that's all nice and tight together and we got the Teflon tape in there to prevent any leaking. Uh, next thing we wanna do is go ahead and we got a piece of quarter inch uh, PEX and we're gonna go ahead and measure the inside of this out. So it comes down right about there and we're gonna go ahead and mark this and then cut it. Yeah, right there, that's good. There we go. Now you'll notice that the BB doesn't fit through there. Fits in there, but it's really tight. So what we wanna do is drill this out a little bit. And we're gonna use a 17 64th bit to hog this out just a little bit. That way the BBs fit through there nice. You wanna make sure your drill bit can go through both sides so you clear the whole thing out. So it's the same uh, diameter, inside diameter. All right, so we got that hogged out a little, and now the BB should, yep, just like that. Should be able to slip right through. Tight, but not too tight. There we go. So now, take our glue here, and just put it around this whole thing. Now we're gonna go ahead and put it in here. And wipe off the excess glue. There we go. now we want to take one of these end caps and we want to drill that out so we could fit this through here so what you want to do is get your half inch drill bit get that in there and we're going to drill from the inside out that way it's in the center Same thing, you want to try and hog it out just a little bit there, just to where you can start threading this in there. All right. All right, so now you can see that that's in there. And we're gonna hot glue around here, but we're also gonna take three inch or three eighths inch uh, compression knot here. We won't actually need the, the other piece. And this is gonna go right in here to secure it in there. And you just tighten it up. There we go, so that's tight in there now. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and run some hot glue on the inside here. 
and on the outside. Alright, so the tip of the gun is all set. This is actually the, the barrel. Tip and barrel. So now we're going to take our PVC cement again. And remember, this is going to be our front here. So we're going to get some cement in there. And then attach this on. So you want to run... And now do the inside of this, swab the inside. You didn't need to go back in. All right. And now just connect this together. And we'll wipe off the excess glue. All right, so as you can see, definitely a shorter barrel. Yep, but we're coming along. All right, so now we can attach our T here. We're gonna slip that on right there. Yep. Same thing. Right around the whole thing. And then you gotta get the inside here. All right, so we got that attached now. We're gonna go ahead and cut a piece so we can attach our threaded end on here. And this is where we're gonna load the BBs in. So we're gonna cut a two inch piece of PVC to glue this together. Okay, so now we're gonna glue the inside here and glue this piece and we'll slip that in. And then we'll be able to put our screw piece here. We'll be able to screw that into there. Rip it around. Just, yep. And then get this outside. No, outside. And shove that in there. And we'll wipe off the excess glue. and push that on and then we'll wipe off the excess glue all right so it's coming right along and now we got our cap here this is where you're going to load the bb's in and then you have your cap to seal them in there so it's all done except for the stock part so we're going to cut uh, another two inch piece that's going to go in here and connect to another t Now we'll go ahead and run some glue in here. That, that hot glue's all dry now. We'll run some glue in here and run some glue on here. And we'll get that piece in there. Yep. Yep. And do the outside. Okay. Now we'll wipe off the excess glue. We could do a little test run here and see if this is airtight. We'll go ahead and pressurize this and see how we're doing here. All right, so let's, uh, I don't hear anything leaking. And let's go ahead and put some BBs in here and try it. Okay. 
That's good. I saw you drag it down the hill with you. Yeah, I did it. All right. Ready? Wow. That one out. <laughs> awesome. That was cool. It covered the whole board. All right. So I guess we're ready to add on the stock now. So let's go ahead and get that going. We're going to glue this area and get that on there. And we're going to cut about five and a half inches off of here. Inside here and then glue this and get that in there. Inside of that. Inside of that. Now we're going to add this piece on here. So we're going to glue the outside here. That right there, the inside. So now we're gonna need three two inch pieces so we can go ahead and get all these on. And clean up the excess glue. Outside? Yep. All right, so now the buttstock is done. So here we go. Ooh, that's nice. This one feels really sturdy. <laughs> all right. So we're all set here. Last thing to do, he's going to go ahead and paint it. He's going to paint it whatever color he wants and design it. But there we go. <laughs> all right, so we got our fire extinguisher airsoft guns, full auto. So, one last thing to do. Ready, aim, fire. Ready, aim, fire. You can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf. We'll see you on the next one. All right, bye, Obo. Hi guys! <laughs>